Well, hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV for Friday, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand, specifically the Middle East today. Look, it's Friday, sometimes we dress up here, there are some people going off to run the Beirut Marathon, nothing makes any sense, let's just leave it at that and move on. China, what are you doing? Uh, they're, put, they're putting an end to their one-child policy today, which of course has led to all sorts of dramas, uh, and now you're allowed to have two. Big mistake! You should have gone the other way and made it a no-child policy, and then all the problems would have been solved. You know, your population overload would have been solved, and the whole, you know, weird, out of whack, too many men, not enough ladies situation. Just no men or ladies, because no children. Um, I don't not really have anything against men or ladies. More of a fan of ladies than men, probably, if I had to choose. It's the kids I'm not a fan of. You don't need them. Who does? Hey, Iran. Uh, when they're having Syria talks, uh, what do you say when the phone rings? And somebody's asking me if I get paid for this. It's a grey area. It's not... I, my job description, it's fluid. I'm not sure if I'm actually getting paid for this specifically. I don't know why I'm doing this, to be perfectly honest. It seemed like a good idea at the time. 84 episodes later, not so, so sure. Anyway, back to Iran. Uh, the world wants you to go to the Syria talks. Um, they're in Vienna. Frankly, when the phone rings and somebody says, Hey, do you want to come to Vienna to talk? I'm going, yep. Yeah. There are worse places I could go, and I'm in Iran right now. Uh, Vienna sounds nice. That's what I'd do if I was Iran. Uh, hey, rugby coaches, why can't you talk properly? I mean, Steve, Steve Hansen, uh, he's pretty famous for not moving his mouth very much when he talks. But now that the Aussies have got this bloke, Michael Checker, He's got this annoying voice I've ever heard. And I don't know how that kind of voice is going to inspire confidence in the halftime talk if they're a little bit behind. Maybe he says, I'm just going to keep talking unless you go out there and start screwing some tries. What is with this? Have they just seen that Steve Hansen has been so successful that so they've decided to hire a coach who also doesn't open his mouth? Open your mouth when you talk! It's not that hard! Um, it's 5am too early to get up and watch a rugby game. I know it's the final, but... And this is coming from a guy who gets up at 3 o'clock every morning, but... It's quite early, isn't it? Could they not have... I know there's the playoff for 3rd and 4th. Uh, it's, it's 9. It's, they're having that at 9. That seems, that seems civilised. Why, why did the... It's very... I just, I love a sleeping on the weekend because I've been getting up at three all week. Is it too late to get that move? Probably is. Um, do you think I'll get away with just watching a replay and telling everybody that I watched it live? Do you? Do you? Oh, probably will. Except now I've told everybody here. You, it's just between you guys and me, right? You can keep that secret. Okay, uh, go to the Mighty All Blacks. I'm sure you'll be fine. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much for having me. Up your periscope. I'll see you back here on Monday for the big celebrations! And not commiserations, eh? Right? Right?